Hmm, I'm thirsty. New Year, new me. I think I'm gonna grab a diet beverage today. What are you doing? I'm trying to save your life. But I'm trying to be healthy and lose weight, so I'm sticking to diet products. Don't let the diet label fool you. You can actually gain weight from diet products. First, you need to understand that the diet beverages you keep in your fridge swap out real sugar for artificial sweeteners. These artificial sweeteners are sweeter than real sugar, but have little to no calories. Through our past experiences, our body has established a relationship between sweet tastes and calories. This means that when we drink something sweet, our body expects a certain amount of calories in return. When we drink a diet beverage with an artificial sweetener, our body recognizes that we have drank something sweet. However, the amount of calories we consumed is much lower than what our body expected. This is not good because it means the artificial sweetener can change the relationship our body has between sweetness and calories. Since there's less calories associated with a sweet taste, you can start to drink more than before. Oh, that's cool and all, but is there any research to back that up? Yeah, actually, there was a study done in rats that shows this idea very nicely. Let me show you what the researchers did. Rats were split into two groups, and the experiment had three phases. The first 14 days were called the exposure phase. During this time, the first group was given water, while the second group was given a solution with artificial sweetener. Next was the training phase. Both groups were given a flavored solution with glucose added for 10 days. The glucose is sweet tasting to rats. For another 10 days, the rats were given a different flavored solution with polycose added instead. Polycose is not sweet tasting to rats. The last phase was the testing phase. During this time, the rats were given the two different flavored solutions without glucose or polycose added. The amount that the rats drank of each solution was measured over four hours. Rats from the artificial sweetener group drank more of the flavor associated with glucose from the training phase than the rats from the water group did. That means that the artificial sweetener reduced the ability of glucose to tell our body to expect a certain amount of calories. However, both the artificial sweetener and the water group drank the same amount of solution for the flavor associated with polycose from the training phase. This means the effect artificial sweeteners have on how much the rat drinks is specific to sweet tastes. Since the flavored solution with polycose added wasn't sweet, it wasn't affected. There has also been human studies done that have shown similar results. A long-term study done in San Antonio with over 3,000 participants found that on average, individuals that consumed artificially sweetened beverages had a higher body mass index compared to non-users. Based on these findings, it's clear that consuming artificially sweetened beverages alone is not the way to lose weight and can potentially be doing more harm than good. Well, I guess I'll get rid of these diet products then. But I'm still thirsty. What do I drink instead? There are plenty of healthier alternatives that you can drink, such as water, organic juices, green tea. And that's not the only thing that you could do to lose weight. Eating a healthy breakfast, cutting out refined carbs such as cookies and chips, and also maintaining a consistent eating pattern. But losing weight isn't only about eating healthy though. You also have to incorporate physical activity. Let's go hit the gym. Sounds like a plan.